Hello and welcome to episode 13 of our Arsenal Master League. Today we will be playing against Burnley in the Premier League and then we have a, a tough match against Juventus in the Champions League group stage. Of course, we are already through, so not too much pressure there, but of course, we do want to win it. Also, thanks for your comments on the last episode and uh, thanks to your input. We will be sticking to the superstar difficulty. I guess it's just something we have to get used to little by little. And also we will be continuing with the 4-3-3 with two strikers up front. So this is the team we're gonna be using against Burnley. And as you can see, we've had to change a couple of things. Uh, some players like uh, Pepe, David Luiz, etc. can't play because of either fatigue or bad form. So we've got Chambers coming in, Tierney coming in, and also Ceballos playing. Now as Ceballos is coming in for Pepe, uh, we're pushing Ozil further forward. And he doesn't really play well as a second striker, so we're going to tinker with the formation a little bit, bring him down and play him as an attacking midfielder, but really shouldn't make too much of a difference, hopefully. Right, so we kick off. Let's see if playing two strikers against Burnley will work. Of course, Burnley are typically a defending team. Uh, so maybe having those two strikers up front will actually benefit us quite a bit. Don't know that to Lacazette, to Ozil. Passes it back to Aubameyang. Play shot. What is the referee blowing for there? Is that going to be a free kick? I'm not sure if that deflection took it wide. Or if it was going out anyway. But it seems the referee has given a free kick for something. Uh... Not sure about that, really. So we've got a good opportunity. And uh, let's hope that Shaka could take advantage of them putting quite a small player in the wall. It worked. Don't know why that tiny, tiny little player was in the wall. Gave me a little bit of space. Although, really... I think um, it might have gone in anyway. Yeah, I think that would have gone over any player's head. Well, we're off to a good start. 1 0. Check on the ball. It's Aubameyang. That's going to be a foul. Yes. Okay, got another opportunity here. Come on, Shaka. Can you do it again? Two free kicks in the space of just a few minutes, and Shaka has got his second goal of the game. Ah, uh, this guy's got brilliant free kicks, you know. He's just so, so good at getting them on target and the perfect amount of power. 2 0, and um, this is an excellent start. Bamiyo's on the ball here. Take a shot. Ah, oh, saved by the keeper. Maybe I should place it into the other corner. To Tabamiyan. Chip it through to Tierney. Still got it. Into Shaka. Into Ozil. Lacazette. Give someone to give it to. Just passing it around here. Ah, Why are Burnley defending so much? They're losing. Come on. Oh, that would have been a beautiful goal. What a save. We've still got the ball back though. Oh no, <laughs> that was a rubbish pass. Ozil, Lacazette, finish it, finish it. Ref, penalty. No. That's going to be a foul, but we're going to play on. Go on, Bellerin. In, Lacazette, finish this one. Straight out of the keeper, come on. Ah. And half time. And what a first half it has been. Honestly, I don't remember us playing this well for, um, seriously, for a long time. We have totally, totally dominated that half. Look, look at that. Oh, I haven't seen stats that good since I don't know when. And on superstar difficulty. I mean, maybe it's just a case of, of playing more games and getting used to the difficulty. But we struggled so, so much in the last couple of episodes and look at that 71 percent possession seven shots with five on target and they've had zero we should be winning this by like three or four goals if only lacazette had been a bit more clinical 
I think that's the word. But even look, passes. Ah, uh, this is the type of football I like to play. This is what makes me enjoy making these videos and playing this game. And I really hope it's more entertaining for you guys. And most of all, I want us to continue playing like this. So uh, let's hope we can continue the second half and then every game from here to the end of the season. Give it into Tevayos. Into Bellerin. Let's give it back. Passing it around here. Into Tini. Aubameyang holds it up well. Finish this one. What a save. This goalkeeper's having a brilliant match, really. All right, let's do a far post. Actually, that player's standing there. He's going to block it, so we'll adapt into a dash. Try and get it past him. He's getting out of the way. Take advantage of this now. In. Oh! How did Aubameyang not get on the end of that? Still got an opportunity here. Into Shaka. Bellerin. Early cross. Aubameyang. No! Finish this one! Like I said, on the ball. Takes a shot. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper again. Okay, three changes because we've got quite a few Thai players out there. So Keen, Iwobi and Holding are coming on. We're pushing Chambers out to right back because Bellerin's basically got no stamina left. Torreira into Iwobi. Keen through to Tini. Into the box, Lacazette! Oh. Let's try a far post cross. In there, Keen on the end of it, and too easy for the goalkeeper. What has the goalkeeper done? Ah, oh, Keen should have left it for Lacazette. That was close. Can't keep this out. No, no. What a save, Leno. He's trying to keep his clean sheet. He's had nothing to do all game. And that's his first save. And that's it. Full time. 2-0. Oh, unfortunately, we couldn't add to our lead. But we definitely, definitely deserve to win by more than two goals. We didn't dominate as much in possession in this second half. Of course, we were pushing, I think, a lot more because I really wanted to score a couple more goals. But yeah, we still totally dominated that game. Uh, they only had a couple of shots, one on target, and we had 14 with 10 on target. So their goalkeeper played really, really well, even on passes. Just, just an incredible game, and it's such a shame we didn't get more goals. But hopefully we can carry this form on and, you know, keep these videos really entertaining for you guys. So our next match is against Juventus, and, well, we've got... Quite a few Thai players, obviously this is a, a midweek game and the uh, first team just played against Burnley. And we are through also, so less pressure. So we're going to be playing the, the youngsters. Now the problem is that I I want to play Iwobi and Nelson. And they do play better as a, a left winger and a right winger respectively. So I think we're going to leave it with the old formation. Because the, these kids do seem to play well with this formation. And, well, we'll see at half time or, or maybe midway through the second half. If it's not working, we can always switch to that 4-3-3 with two strikers up front. Okay, so we kick off. Come on, young guns. Show us what you can do. Juventus on the attack. We've got our defenders coming back here. Ah, oh, mate, of now you've got to be a bit stronger than that. Well done. Well done. Come on. Let's hit them now. What was that? That was a rubbish pass. They better not score from this. They better not score from this. Wow! Well done, Maitland Niles. Into Ceballos. Keen, make a run there. No! Yes! Finishes! That was lucky. That was lucky. And Moise Keen scores against his ex team. Technically, ex ex team. Before Juventus. Ah, oh, that was. That was just a disaster. Of a defence. I don't know what happened here. Thought uh, Keane would get on the end of this. And Chiellini. Should have cleared it. Goalkeeper could have done better as well. I don't think we deserve it. Because we haven't really done much attacking wise. In this half. But yeah. What was the defender doing there? Oh well. I'll take it. 1-0. Gone. 3-2 Obi. Yes. Yes. Can you make a run? Make a run! <laughs> no! Oh! Almost a carbon copy of the first goal. Ah, oh, we couldn't take advantage. 
Nice ball by Keane. Ah, why did the defenders always get in front? Always. Half time. Oh, that was a tough half. That was tough, tough, tough. Complete night and day compared to the Burnley game. Oh, but we are winning, luckily. Okay, like I said, if things weren't working out, we were going to switch it up, and that's what exactly what we're doing. We're losing too many balls going up front, and Moise Keane just completely isolated. Same as same as always when we play with the wingers and one up front. So yeah, we are switching it back to that 4-3-3. Uh, and same as the last match, we're going to be playing with an attacking midfielder rather than a supporting striker, just because Nelson will probably be playing better in that position. The only thing is, we are going to have to play Iwobi up front. But what I think we'll probably do is, uh, maybe a bit later into the second half, maybe change him around and bring on Martinelli, of course. Ceballos. Try to pass it. Nothing. Oh, we got it back. Keane finishes. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper. Ah. Oh. Into Tielemans. Ceballos. Finish this one. Save again. Take a shot. That was rubbish. All right, Juventus has got a free kick in a dangerous position. So let's switch to the goalkeeper. And good block. Ooh. Thought I was going to go on target. I mean, the AI do seem to have... And while I was talking, they scored. I was uh, mentioning how the AI have pinpoint accuracy with free kicks. Uh, one, one. No, no, no. What was he doing with no one marking him in the center? Everyone just pulled, whoop, pushed up, left him alone. And with his right foot, one, one. Oh, mistake there. Keen, make a run, please. Yes. Can you get it? Can you get it? Place it. Oh, straight at the keeper. What are you doing? Go on, Joe Willock down the middle. No one challenging him. Through to Keen. No, why did you stop running? Why did you stop running? Oh, man. Moise Keen is not having the best game apart from his goal. That's a foul. Ref. Ref, come on. This is ridiculous. We should have won this game. Ref's going to blow for full time. Ah, oh, But you know what? Like I said, it, it wasn't the most important match. We've gone through already and it is the youngsters playing against Juventus. But yeah, disappointed there. We, sh we should have won that game. So yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really make much of a difference. We're still first. Um, that's the end of the group stages. Six matches played already. And we have gone through along with Juventus. So yeah. Not much of a difference with that match. So this is the draw for the round of 16 in the Champions League. I don't know why they removed the draw now. It doesn't even announce anything at all. Not in messages. You have to actually search for it in the database of the competitions. It's such a stupid thing that they've removed. I don't know why. But uh, we have got an easy draw. Easy. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we are going to be playing against Dynamo Kiev and... A few interesting matches like Napoli, PSG, Juventus, Bayern, Chelsea, Barcelona. That's going to be a big one. And Madrid, Manchester City. Uh, but I do think we should be going through to the next round. So that's it for today's episode. All in all, I think it was a, a good one. Um, we did draw the second one, but we played really, really well considering it was our B team. And yeah, th a few things have been made clear definitely in this episode. Superstar is where it's at. We're going to stick to that definitely and also the formation we played so so much better with two strikers up front i just wish that we had changed it early and we had tried it out but what are you going to do we have to look forward from now on so yeah we're going to be sticking with that and thank you guys for your input if you have any more comments or anything that you want us to try out please leave it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode and subscribe if you haven't yet. It does help me out a lot. Thank you very much. And anyway, I will see you guys very, very soon.